So with multiverses and open beta, people are trying to figure out who's good and who's not. But there's always one character who seems to be near the bottom, and I wanted to take a look at her. And I gotta say, what the hell is Garnet? Garnet's such a weird character, like, she says she's for beginners, yet she plays almost nothing like anyone else. A good chunk of her moves feel built exactly for one situation. Like, she can hit a huge range on the ground horizontally, or hit above her vertically, but very few moves in between that cover a lot of space. She does have one neutral air, but that move is so ungodly slow for no reason, it's barely worth your time. But if her moves are super good at one thing, that should be fine, right? Well, wrong, because Attack Decay butchers this character. While just having to use three unique moves really shouldn't be an issue, for Garnet it often is. This is super exemplified in moves like Forward Tilt. On paper, this move is cool, it's a jab with three follow-ups depending on the direction you hit, right? The problem is that they're all the same move, you're not undecaying any other move when you use it, and the down follow-up also likes to whiff a lot, so often the only unique thing you can rely on is the uppercut. A weird quirk of this move is that the up and down follow-ups never actually decay, which would be really funny, but your opponent can just dodge out of it if it decays anyway, so there's no point other than using it than super niche situations. And another thing about this move that should be brought up, this is your combo. Any follow-up after this isn't true. But that's expected. Not every character has to have Harley combos, but what does she have? Well, not kill power, that's for sure. Many of her options are either too slow to be viable or send at really awkward angles. Down air is pretty good, but that's every character. Anyone can do that. Well, she does have a few tools that make her combos and kill power better, but they're in a weird place you wouldn't expect. Garnet's forward special provides amazing combo game, and Garnet's grounded off special is arguably her best kill move, setting up great kill confirms. No, no, not the projectiles, which, uh, sure do exist. I mean the ones she gets when those are on cooldown. Why they locked Garnet's best moves behind other moves is beyond me, but despite what you may think, these aren't replacements. These are some of the best tools in her kit, and with them she becomes significantly better. They aren't really a major fix though, and since getting these tools means losing your projectiles, it's easy for opponents to just stay away from her. And with all that, is there anything she has going for her? Armor Break. She specializes in Armor Break. With full dance buff you can make all attacks break armor. Small problem though is that Forward Tilt is already a multi-hit, so she doesn't really need an Armor Breaker. In doubles it can be nice along with her damage buff, but even then you can probably do better. All in all, Garnet is a mess with limited combos, poor kill power, and not a lot to compensate. And yet, I find her very fun. She's a brain off, hold forward character, and that's always a good time. But that's just my opinion. What do you think of her? Anyone you want to see me talk about next? Let me know in the comments. Until next time!